wife, Jill, and my sons, Bo and Hunter, and my daughter, Ashley. And I don't say that lightly because they all knew Teddy. He did something personal and special for each one of them in their lives. Uh, um, uh, truly, truly are uh, distressed by his passing. And uh, our hearts go out to Teddy Jr. and Patrick and Kara and, and Vicky, with whom I spoke this morning, uh, and the whole Kennedy family. You know, uh, Teddy uh, spent a lifetime uh, working uh, for a fair and more just America. And for 36 years, I had the privilege of going to work every day and literally, not figuratively, sitting next to him and being a witness to history. Every single day the Senate was in session, I sat with him on the Senate floor in the same aisle. I sat with him in the Judiciary Committee next, physically next to him. And I sat with him in the caucuses. And it was uh, in that process, uh, every day I was with him, and this is going to sound strange, but he restored my sense of idealism and my faith in the possibilities of what this country could do. He and I were talking after his diagnosis, and I said, you know, I think you're the only other person I've met who, like me, is more optimistic, more enthusiastic, more idealistic, sees greater possibilities after 36 years than when we were elected. He was 30 years old when he was elected. I was 29 years old. And you'd think that would be the peak of our idealism. But I genuinely feel more optimistic about the prospects for my country today than I did at heaven any time in my life. And it was infectious when you were with him. You could see it, those of you who knew him and those of you who didn't know him. You could just see it in the nature of his, the debate, in the nature of his embrace, in the nature of how he, every single day, attacked these problems. And you know, uh, he was never defeatist. He, uh, he never was petty. Never was petty. He was never small. And uh, in the process of his uh, doing, he made everybody he worked with bigger, both his adversaries as well as his allies. Don't you find it remarkable that one of the most partisan liberal men in the last century serving in the Senate had so many of his so many of his foes embrace him because they know he made them bigger. He made them more graceful by the way in which he conducted himself. You know, uh, he changed the circumstances of tens of millions of Americans in a literal sense, literally, literally changed the circumstances. He changed also another aspect of it as I observed about him. He changed not only their physical circumstance, he changed how they looked at themselves and how they looked at one another. That's a remarkable, a remarkable contribution for any man or woman to make. And for the hundreds, if not thousands of us who got to know him personally, uh, he, uh, he um, actually, uh, how can I say it? He, he, he altered our lives as well. Through the grace of God and uh, an accident of history, I was privileged to be one of those people. And every important event in my adult life, as I look back this morning and talking to Vicky, every single one, he was there. He was there to encourage, to counsel, to be empathetic, to lift up. From 1972 as a 29-year-old kid, 
with three weeks left to go in a campaign, him showing up at the Delaware Armory in the middle of what we called Little Italy, would never vote nationally for a Democrat. I won by 3,100 votes and got 85 percent of the vote in that district or something to that effect. I literally would not be standing here were it not for Teddy Kennedy, not figuratively. This is not hyperbole, literally. He was there. Um, he stood with me when my wife and daughter were killed in an accident. He was on the phone with me literally every day in the hospital. My two children were tempting and God willing, God thankfully, survived very serious injuries. I'd turn around and it would be some specialist from Massachusetts, a doc I never even asked for, literally, uh, sitting in the room with me. Uh, you know, uh, it's not just me that he affected like that. It's hundreds upon hundreds of people. I was talking with Vicky this morning and she said, uh, she said he was ready to go, Joe, but we were not ready to let him go. He's left a great void in our public life and a hole in the hearts of uh, millions of Americans and hundreds of us who were affected by his personal touch throughout our lives. People like me who came to rely on him. He was kind of like an anchor. And unlike many important people in my 38 years I've had the privilege of knowing, the unique thing about Teddy was it was never about him. It was always about you. It was never about him. It was people I admire are great women and men. But at the end of the day, it gets down to it being about them. With Teddy, it was never about him. Well, today we lost a truly remarkable man. And to paraphrase Shakespeare, I don't think we shall ever see his like again. But I think the legacy left is not just in the landmark legislation he passed but in how he helped people look at themselves and look at one another. I'm sure there'll be much more that will be said about my friend and your friend, but um, uh, he changed the political landscape for almost a half a century. I just hope we say blithely, you know, we'll remember what he did. I just hope we remember how he treated other people and how he made other people look at themselves and look at one another. That'll be the truly fundamentally unifying legacy of Teddy Kennedy's life, if that happens. And it will for a while, at least in the Senate.